Okay, we're down to it on the signing of Japanese lefty Yusei Kukuchi. Deadline to sign him is 5 p.m. Eastern Time Wednesday. That he's unsigned should not be a surprise. He's represented by Scott Boros, who is, well, you might have heard, a little bit methodical in these things. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. 27-year-old Japanese left-handed pitcher Yusei Kikuchi has the chance to be a solid starter on a major league team next season, but the clock is ticking. The deadline for Kikuchi, who's represented by Scott Boris, to land with the major league team is Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Kikuchi, who throws in the mid-90s, notched a 2.65 ERA over 875 innings the past six seasons in Japan. The Blue Jays solidified their starting rotation before the new year, acquiring left-hander Clayton Richard from the Padres in exchange for outfielder Connor Panis. The 35-year-old Richard had been designated for assignment by San Diego last week to clear roster space for Ian Kinsler. Richard went 7-1 with a 5.33 ERA and 27 starts for the Pods last year. I know I have something to prove. I didn't have the best year last year, but I also know myself and I know what I'm capable of and I'm very confident that I can show everyone that needs to, to see what I can do on the mound and I'm excited for that opportunity. The Reds have been busy bolstering their rotation this offseason and there are some hints that they may not be finished. Free agent Derek Holland told MLB Network Radio that he's been in contact with the Reds and prefers pitching in the National League. The 32-year-old Ohio native had a nice bounce-back season in 2018, notching a 3.53 ERA over 171 in the third innings pitched. You know, if something goes down, you get to jump in right away in the National League compared to the American League. They've got a little more options on the, on the bench. Either way, no matter where it is, I want to do whatever I can to help that team win. For more on these stories and complete hot stove coverage, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.